Morning, everybody. Morning, Tessa. So all done this morning. Cows are milked. Bostrums are milked. We go and help Tessa feed some carvies. Good job, Tessa. Work hard. Yep. Ah, just. I wish I had a chair here that I could watch. Doing a good job. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> right, I'm gonna go get another bucket of milk and we can feed these fellas here. These little calfies. Hey, little ones. They're ready for a feed. Little calfies have almost finished all their milk. Their fights is on because these ones are finished. Just waiting on these last ones to finish over here. And then we're into the last pen. E15. Hang on, E15. Balk. Wow. Hello, Everyone looks well fed, you see the guts. Had a good drink. How are we doing over there, Tessa? Uh, still in the same pen with the babies. Yeah. She's got the nice colostrum. Yep, babies and the bobbies. Yeah. Okay, we'll just fluff this up. Hey! Yeah. Push the meal around a little bit. All done. <laughs> right. Now swarm, swarm! <laughs> Make sure you get me over here. Just nearly done. Good to see. Everyone's got a full gut. Yep, 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 yep. If anyone hasn't, and someone else has, and they still got milk left, I'll swap them over. What's up with this one here? It's not finished yet. Keep an eye on you, I'll be back. Two oldest pens, let them straight into their meal and their hay. We're off, headed down the farm. Tess is already, uh, Dad's already down there. Tess is fed, finished feeding the calves. And we've already got one calf down there to pick up. Uh, none of the heifers, so we'll go see if we've got any others. Oh, them all sitting down. They've had their feed, now they'll sit down relax back for a bit and then get up and have a feed again. Oh, girls, get up! Time for a feed! Eat! Got one cow carved over there. Two sixty-one. There's only two down here. We've got our other one way over the other side there. We'll be in a small break. These girls actually not made a mess. Looks good. They ate their silage but left the rushy bits behind so they could be picky, so they're not hungry. So we've caught most of the cows, just looking for any calves now. the back at the moment, one to pick up over there. We do believe that one with her hasn't calved, she just needs to sit down and calve herself by the look of it. Yeah, that's our four. Perfect. Four little calves. Fourteen and four. Four balls too. So all to the bobby. Okay, now run. Right. Oh. We'll set up for them. For that, we'll mosey our way up. And these girls have now joined the colossal Come on. Come on. Good girls. These four balls, obviously. If they had nice freezer markings of pure black, we keep them, but... Alright, let's go make sure these heifers get into their paddock. There's just letting them go now. Carvies are unloaded and ready to go, and today's the day. I'm gonna go put up that fence. Got enough time, so this big fence that goes all the way around there, all the way down the race. That's what I'm doing today. Get it nice and set up so we can put the um, carryovers in there. I'm on to doing the wire, 
first post. We're going a hammer between them and then smack bang in the middle of them. We're going to run a cold wire and that'll be it. Just three wires is good enough. So hot, cold, hot. That way they can actually graze underneath the fence. If we go another cold, if we do do a cold, it'll be down here and then it'll end up, um, your grass will grow too high and it'll touch that and they won't want to graze it. So nice and easy. Two hots, one cold. I'll go along and put my insulators through first. And once I've done my insulators, we'll grab the wire and shred out the wire. Around that way. So far, so good. As you'll see, I'm putting the wires on that side, which is where they should be. They used to be on the other side, but the wires should actually be on this side. Because if the cow does push against it, she's pushing against the posts and the wire, not just on the wire. Then the only thing that's holding it is really these staples and the insulators so probably about a quarter of the way there now making good time actually and we're nearly there all the way a few posts to go nearly done jeepers there's a lot of posts down this side here one two three four five six eight to go Whew. use a lot of insulators this bag was nearly full And then it'll probably knock us off because uh, it's just gone quarter past 11 by the time I do these and maybe run a wire, it'll be breakfast time. Going good though. There's a lot of ants on a lot of these old posts, little buggers. That's us, that's taking us right through to 12 o'clock. That was a lot of insulators. I don't have many left of that nearly full bag. I think there's only about five or six missing from this bag, so 125 in there. Not that many left. So uh, with that, we've got to go check on the cow. Number 148 was calving, and she's a cracker of a cow. We'll go down and see how she's doing. And then um, go home for breakfast. Down the back here, the girls are looking good. Happy, full. Still a lot of, a lot of food to eat there. So I'm at the water trough. I saw a little calvey over this way. There's 148. There's a little coffee there too. Having a ning. <laughs> it will leave him to it. I don't really want to disturb her. She's a nice, beautiful cow. Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, ladies. What are you doing up there, 97? All right. Now get you around. Let you around. She's facing the wrong way. Easier just to let her around and climb back around again. Get her facing around the right way. Oh no, Sarah. Come down. Good girl. Wolfies doesn't mind going first, so that works out well. successful walking that's another eight added to the mix uh just fit the little carvies it was a great day successful walking dad's shot off to go see mum mum's uh in the hospital at the moment get well soon mum she's just got uh, an infection in her knee again so i'm just gonna say goodbye to dad we'll see him probably tomorrow night right, and the scrabble and the fear in the morning Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Just wanted me to come down about an hour later and just check on the heifers. We saw a couple of them carving. Found one. We can go here. Uh, little bull. Another bull. <laughs> Alright, with that, I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Hey, getting the cows in. She's looking foggy today, but they look keen anyway. Not like me. Ready to go, here they come. Hey, our war beast. Good girl, yeah, she's always up this side. Usually one of the first couple of cows. You can tell if she isn't. This she's a little bit seedy because uh, she doesn't come in first. Oh, 150's coming. Go ahead, dude. War beast. Seven. Seven. Hey, seven, darling. Friendly. Just rushed down here to help Dad. There was a heifer that was in the drain down there. Got her out and 
checking out the hip. This is five hip of calf. Last night, not too bad. All right, we're gonna shoot up, finish washing the plant, and um, we can go pick up some calves. Hopefully, we'll be back in time for left. Perfect. Got it up and over, through the overflow. It washes out nicely. It is Friday, so it's bomb day today. Perfect. Well, Dad started washing the yard down there. Hey, Dad! <laughs> Hello, Harry. You're right, bud. Okay, three little bobbies for today. And these ones down here haven't had a feed. The vets are going to be here in about 15 minutes. These five heifers, those three heifer rears that we got there, if they are rearable, whether they're to the bull or AB, we'll find out today. So we're just waiting for the vets to arrive. Then we can tell the vets which calves to dehorn. The vets are here. We'll leave them to it. Do those two pins. Okay. Come right. down. To the cows, grab them down cows. Ha, 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 Another five from the cows, five from the heifers, a ten today. Usually by this time of year, we're not getting this many, so we've still got another till the middle to the end of September before we finish calving. So, heifers. You see how the heifers are doing? Grab them for the left hand. This one's in calf. We've given them all a lepto, so we've got all their leptos now, and then we can sort out our calves, girls. That's them sorted. Got all our calf ones and our Freemason. Here's your cannot calf. <laughs> and all these girls are going back to the paddock, all in calf. Hope it. Release them, Dad. Here we go. Yeah, I come out first. I think so. We'll find out. Come on. Hop, she's in the meal. You like the smell of the meal? Smells yummy. Come on. Off you go, girls. Back to your paddock. And we're going to fence off that corner. They cannot go down there. There they go. They're out of here. Into the farm. Pretty little cow tag now. We just gave Dad just gave that one an anti-inflammatory just to help with it. Should be right. Just keep it on. Everyone's sleepy. Hey. Oh, one's gone up. Oh. It's all part of the process, little ones. But now we're going to go through and give them all their nate tags before they get up properly. And Tess will unload those calves. We'll just keep an eye on them, make sure that no one's laying on their head and can't breathe. Tess has already fed a little Hereford here. He can go through when everyone's up tonight. And yeah, uh, sweet. Just went around tagging all these little girls, giving them their nice nates. We won't feed them yet. We'll feed them tonight. It's the best time to feed them after they've had that dehorning. So they're still dopey. Don't drink properly and they won't swallow properly. So that, we're out of the pen, Tessa. All done for now. There's three carryover, two heifers and one carryover joining the mob. Not sure what we're going to do with these uh, two carryovers yet. Oh, there's two heifers yet. Come on, girls. Come on. That's a free basin. She'll just stay in that mob. I go back. I've got to feed two little calves because they didn't have a good enough drink off their mothers this morning. And then that's going to be us because it's just gone quarter to twelve. It's still foggy today. One of those fog fog days. But yeah, that leaves with those five add to the mix. The heifer mob is just below halfway through calving, and the cow mob has only got it just in the nineties now. Ninety cows left. Interesting, the Herefords should start any day now. Let's go feed our little calf. Down there happily. The heifers are in there happy as. So Dad's going to run that fence line while I'm feeding these two calves down there. So stop those damn heifers calving in that 
little V drain, there's a V drain runs down between that fence line. The two heifers that carved yesterday decided to go carve in that V line, V drain. There's a few heifers gonna go again, another couple, little mob coming through again. So that'll probably be the last of the AB. And then we'll be into them having their, heifer, um, their jersey calves. And that's the ones that are just instant bobbies. It's all the little carvies fed. I didn't give him a whole bottle. This bottle is 2.5 litres and generally only needs two. He's not that big of a calf. 2.5 litres if he's a big Frisian, two litres if he's not. But I'll show you something on the poor little fella. Shows you got a quite a hard carving. Here she is, got a little girl here. We'll see her here. She's got a bit of swelling on the side of her head just along here, which means she had quite a hard carving. And even her mum's quite, um, quite done up by it. She's full though. Four little calves, we fed that little one over there below their feet. They were right, and everyone else has had a feed. All the boys, these girls here have all had a feed. And you had a feed this morning, darling. You're hungry now because it's 11.30. Uh, sorry, 12 o'clock now. Ah, who knocked my bucket over? So, with that, I'll see you all at milking tonight. Afternoon, everybody. There's a lot of calves in this pen, and why is that? Tess is gonna be happy. Hello, coffees. <laughs> and these ones in here are gonna have sore heads and be very hungry. Checking to make sure everyone's awake because sometimes a vet can accidentally give them a double dose. Double dose them and they don't wake up. Well, they do wake up. They just need to come and give them a jab. So everyone's up and awake for that. We'll get to washing the vet. Let's see what, how much we sent today. So we've still got a good amount of milk there. Got our hot alkaline and a hypo mix going through tonight. Bottom of that, doing a nice and clean then. Rinse cycle, followed by a hot rinse cycle. So, yeah. And Nate Bailey, he took the um, tennis a little milk here. He needs it for his calves because he's out of his block from now. And he's, um, he's, uh, he's just getting it off. Let's get this up. Off the um, off the milk here. Thank you very much. Helps us a lot. So then now we can look at refilling those two drums. The cloths, the uh, penicillin's that will drop off. With those calves going outside, we can actually start feeding them the penicillin milk, which will be on Sunday. So we'll set the end Sunday. So it'll be good. And that's it. All right, finish washing the vet. Dad should be here very short. There he goes. Off you go get the cows in. Oh, he's switching over the irrigator. So we're going to use that irrigator. That's number 11, which is good. Finally get rid of the... Uh... Start getting rid of that tank. It's only about half full. <laughs> And uh, that's all washed up now. I'm ready. Wait for some cows. Time that well. Just as the irrigator started up, we finished washing the vet. Girls are coming. And it's turned to a beautiful afternoon. All right, let's get to milking. That's another successful milking. The Lostrum girls are off. Brown's been milked well, happy. The new heifers milk really well, actually. They're quite touch wood, really good. Uh, too busy eating the meal to notice. So all five of them didn't react to us cupping them at all. So that meal really does help a lot. All right. Beautiful afternoon. Very good. Oh, yep. Put her down. Put her down. I got it all <laughs> Wow. She's only little. She should be drinking. Okay. Uh, I think you're a little bit too small. Okay. We try and feed her now. You've hopped on the wrong one, but you're on this one. That one. Get it. That's us all done for tonight, as you can see down there. Look at that. The fog's starting to set already. It's only really been gone for probably four hours. That's me. Would you? No, no, Icky. You haven't seen one of the carvies. <laughs> and granddad and Granddad's in there. And he's just uh, grabbing the digger to go and clean out the area. Hi, yeah, I was going well. You guys are happy, woohoo, playing. Yeah, 
Now we've got to feed these ones that have been dehorned. We've just got to watch their little hornies. And then these ones got to get fed. Just chuck them. Watch their little hornies, Cheshire. <laughs> little cuffies. Is there anyone you want to put through in particular? Yeah. Just scraping this here out here. And this one and I are feeding these ones, mainly Cheshire. I'm just standing out here watching. I just put the buckets in the big ones. So we're going to feed these ones. And then we'll feed the second ones, and the second ones are going to get pushed through into here, shunted through into here, so that tomorrow morning when they get fed, they get fed out here. Here comes Mackenzie with the hay. That's all way. Right. Get them fed, and we'll give them some meal too. Just, just giving them some meal, and look at them. They're really so hungry. They got the hay, eating the hay hard out. They like hay by the look of it. So these ones all done. Those ones all done. To the next pen, Tessa. Damn little calves. Look at them all. <laughs> these ones will be full, nice and full. And these ones will be nice and full. Ones are all done. They go through into there. Perfect, that worked surprisingly well. I watched it. That's all 34 of them all in there. Happily eating meal, eating hay, or grass, silage, sorry. Tessa, do you want to put any calves through now? Yep, put those skin in here, please. Those skin in here. Munchkins on it. Don't get them, munchkins. I want the next one. Kinsey Cam. Kinsey Cam. You can talk now. Yeah. Okay. We put we put the ones in there into here and we put the ones in here into there and the ones that were in there into that one. The ones that were there we go, that looks good. They've done a great job there. And with that we're done and dusted, what do we say much kid? Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the scrimmage. Sorry for dropping you cuff them off to me. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning everybody. And good morning ladies. Just got the first row on. Dad just helped me cut them. She's actually just gone to go and get in the uh, classroom girls. So that's what he does. He gets the first mob in, helps me cut up the first row, and then he goes and gets the second mob that goes down. It's just the fence. By the time he's finished getting these cows in and um, shifting the fences, I should have this row heading out. So, but in the mornings it's a little bit slower because we are waiting for those girls to finish. Why do I put my cheek against the pipe? Because that's the best way to check if it's uh, if she's ready. Because if I put my hand on it, the hand could be cold and it'll feel warm the whole time, or it could be warm and it'll be cold. But the face, it feels like it's cooling down now. It's just on the warm stage, whereas for my hand, it's hot. So, cheek, best way to check if, it's, if she's done or not. And that way you can actually feel the milk going through the pipe too. If there's no milk going through, then it's cooling down, and it's cold, it's time to change her up. Like this one. Morning, Dad! Oh, How are you this morning? Oh. How'd you go ship the fences? Lost. Lost. It's nice and dark in the morning, so I can't see it. Push this row out. We've got our last row coming in on this side. That's the sixth row coming in now. So after six rows in, row five is very quick. Here's the last. Good, got some good milkers now, and the girls are milking well. I'm putting the smaller. Hit the weights, or two of them. There she goes, off to go and lock the milkers away. We sorted out another four for the milkers. There's Tessa, doing her milk, eating the carvings and all that. Oh, and Dad said, let these go. We got one still in there, 186. Just looks like she's got a touch of milk fever. Her ears are cold and just stumbling around not properly. So she's usually a really skittery cow. We walked right up to her this morning. So we'll just keep an eye on her. Hello, 14. <laughs> All right, into the fog.
And they're off. Yeah, all right, let's go feed the big calves. Tess will finish feeding those little ones, and then we'll get, wash this cow shed and go and feed the big ones. They'll get them on the big cafeteria today. The 34. Just feeding their calves there. Catch uh, Bobbies must be feeding themselves. Hey, Tessa. Where are the kids? Ah, oh, picked the calf club calf. That's cool. The kids have got calf club this year. <laughs> oh, okay. And we got our cafeteria here, which we're going to go and fill up with some milk. Let's turn them off. Yep, they're off. Dad's yep. just gone down and checked the heifers. There are three heifers that are calved down there. And they're all bobbies, even the girl, because she's um not uh, she's not AB. Tess has already hooked up the cafeteria. We've got to put in 160 litres worth. 160 litres, Dallas. Four and a half litres of calf. So we need another five bucks. And we see we're feeding the big calves that are over. We're feeding the big house with this. Woo! Yeah. I need a level. <laughs> and they are just having. Is that much good? Just doing. Jealous. They are Jealous. putting the milk into there. Count them out. Four. So. Look how satisfying this is. I like this bit. Dallas, please hop off there, Dallas. Yeah. You'll break it. You're getting too big, okay? Thank you. That's it. Nine. Eight. Eight. And eight in that one. Eight in that one. It's all together, Mackenzie. One big open one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so we're looking for snotty noses as well. It's a sign of an infection. Yeah, it's alright, they'll figure out what the cafeteria's food soon. Hey! Excuse me! Mike, Mike, Mike. Excuse me! You're not hungry enough. Oh, yeah. Excuse me! There we go, nice and fed. And we will go and get some more calves in now. Let's roll. Um, how long have you been a free little calf? Did, Dad did have a calf missing with the uh, heifer mob, so that would be him or her. All the helpers at the moment. Got two bales of silage over there, and Dallas just waits for Tessa. Let's put this side by side. Another two to go by the looks of it. They find another calf in there. The kids are just waiting with Dad on the bike, watching Dad treat a cow. Granddad, sorry. Granddad treat a cow. Granddad. Yeah, their granddad. It's my dad. Their granddad treat a cow. She's down with milk fever. And she's back up. Just like that. Quick ass. <laughs> so, three more cows to get. One of those calves, which is the makes that the fifth calf is from up the front of the heifers. Just having it in this race. And here's Dallas watching from the motorbike with Mackenzie watching as well. Treating the cow for yep. milk fever. That's the one. She's already had the bag under her skin. That's why she's standing. Dad pushed her over and got her in the vein now. Not too fast. Yeah. Makes it a lot better for her. Okay. Two to go. Yeah, because yeah, daddy's still in the vein. When you finish, a bit of blood comes out. The one. All right. Put a piece of cat, Mackenzie. Oh, okay. Put the cap back on Airport. and we keep the needles. Good deal. We keep the needles because it's part of the regulation. You've got to shave the needles and dispose of them properly. Right. right hop on the bike so in case she jumps up. Hop it's on nice the and safe on the bike. Look at 
Yeah, yeah, no, stay out of the way, Mackenzie. She's a little bit loopy. Then we'll take the kids out once she's out of the way. I'll take them out to the motorbike out there. Or to the tractor. Makes them nice and safe in there. And warm. It's warmer in there than out here. Tess is wishing she could hop in the tractor too. <laughs> she's on the gate. Stop the cows coming back in. Alright. With that, let's go get the other cows in. Two to go. And there they go. One more. <laughs> Driving the tractor. Yeah, this is about us done. We're just finished feeding out the silage for these girls. Looking happy. Tess has already headed up with the cows with um, Kenzie and Dallas. Uh, just feeding out the last bale there. Dad's just finished shitting up the fence. Real of standards there. And Set the real standards and we're all done. Let's head on up the front, see if we can catch them. There we go, made it up there, caught up to them. Tessa and Mackenzie and Dallas are up the front there. We're just uh, going past the cows, they're looking happy, they got a good break today. Looking good. Right, let's go and see the heifers now. Block these girls away and go get the heifers in. Ah, Tessa. Tell us some Kenzie. <laughs> we just see any ones in the back. One girl in the back with Dallas, and then the four boys there. There's some Mackenzie here. Let's go and grab our two heifer calves and then three heifers. Let's go. Just put the heifers today. They're going down to the next paddock, just along the sides of here. Double back on themselves, half of them will end up coming down in the paddock trying to get back. The other half will be down the race. So get them all together. Dad's going to turn them around when they get to him and um, we'll allow them to go down to the next paddock. Here they go. <laughs> all right, we'll go and tag these other three heifers now. This will be the last paddock for the heifers, because the heifer mob here, they're going to be shifted down with the other cows next week, Dad was saying. So those milkers are starting to clean their paddocks up a bit better, as you can see here, compared with what it used to be. So they'll be in their paddock down there with the other calving cows, probably sometime next week. Once I've finished grazing this paddock off, the milky mob's getting bigger. We're into the nearly 100, 120 tonight with that next mob going in. So 120 now, actually, with that mob we put in this morning. So that, let's go tag these heifers and put those little calves in the pens and go and wash that cafeteria and that'll be us for Saturday morning. Taggers and the tags. Don't worry, Dallas, I'll go out that way. Oh, you do that up. Do that way. That's the way. All right, put the other way. These girls are going down with their nice new tags into the milking mob. Too easy, everybody. Cafeteria out. And little Carvey's got more room. They're eating the hay and the meal in there. Perfect. And with that, I'll see you all at uh, milking tonight. Hello, Dad. Yeah. Right, see you. Go get the cows in. Missing a mud guard. Sending crap everywhere. It's off to go get the cows in and, um, and our colostrum girls. It's turned to a good afternoon, actually. Go outside little calvies. Hello, Zookies. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, you just get to go way out there, eh? Way out there. See? Good, Zookies.
Let's get over here. Tessa's finishing up, eh, Tessa? Yep. Well, that's probably us for tonight. We'll go see where the kids are. Probably time for a snack. But the cows are looking good. Tessa's looking after them well. Well fed and happy. Hey, you little Tuffy. Hello, little Tuffy. Hey, oh, yep. And she's, her vehicle has got the snacks in it. What do we say? Thank you. 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 Thank you.